again your um, Python here to install package control into Sublime. You go to package control here, install. Do since it pops up. Second, my internet tonight's been going really slow, and I'm not sure why. Well, that's doing that. Normally it pops up instantly, but my internet's been cutting in and out. So while that's doing that, we'll um, go over basic express requests. So uh, app dot get. We'll just grab anything. We're not going to do a, a full um, application here. I just want to show you how to build um, a spa. So we're not going to do anything too robust. Uh, press dot render, and then we're going to index, and we'll pass in some an empty object. Currently, we'll just do actually we'll just do title, so how it works. Uh, home page. Oops. Home page. So this is just express. I mean, if you you can watch other uh, other. Um, jade. There we go. Install Jade. We'll close down this here. And this is just, this is just express. There's other a lot of other tutorials. I'm not going to go over too much of the Node.js stuff. More of the socket cluster. And spa stuff. So, if you want to learn more about Express, you can check out Express's website, or there's tons of tutorials online. Maybe at some point I'll actually create a tutorial for you, so it make that more sense. But just trust me right now. Basically, this is saying grab anything and render this page on from a request over a browser. Okay. So that's going to look in the views folder. So here's index.jade. So Jade's loaded. So we can do title equals title. So how that works is it's looking for a key value pair here, title. So you passed in equal to title. You can also, I mean, if you wanted to, you could do, um, oops, excuse me. Uh, that'd be the same thing, but anyway, uh, there's that. I'm not gonna go over too much of J either because it, it's not really, it's not really the point of this, this tutorial. This is more for a jacket cluster and spas. Okay. So now we need to grab the socket cluster uh, file so we can make a connection back to the server. So uh, remember where we have the public folder here where all everything is served. So we need forward slash JS and then forward slash socket cluster dot JS. Let's open this up a little more so we can read better. Okay. Then we can do H3. No. Oops. Welcome. Yay. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Okay. So. Go back to here. We're fresh. Do a local host. We're at 3000, right? That's one. Oops, I didn't install Jade. Well, there you go. Install Jade. Second install. Oops, I need to fix that. I'll fix that later. It's not important right now. So, give a second to install. So while this is installing, I'll explain a SPA to you. A SPA is a single page application. So the idea is everything is on the same page. Um, so in order to accomplish that, we're gonna use a few tools. Uh, you can actually write your own um, tools, but for the purpose of this um, tutorial, we're just gonna use Director. So um, throughout my work, I wrote my own, but um, I do like Director quite a bit. It's a pretty interesting tool. So basically what this Director does is it grabs the URL up here and renders a page for you. Um, based on the URL. So uh, we're going to need the um, director uh, files, so CDN JS. Do director grab. Oops. Go grab this file here. Paste it in up here. We'll get the file. We'll copy paste it. We will create a new folder called um, libraries. These are just going to be um, direct um, pre-written stuff that we're going to use for ourselves. So director.js. Gonna save that. We'll minify that later. Well, actually, it's already, it already comes minified. So let's let's actually rename that so we know it's minified already. Save minified. There we go. Okay, and then um, we will in 
include that and here script source js system um oh, actually some libraries libraries director director dot dot min dot js okay so now we have a well, way to grab uh, urls oh actually our jade finished too so let's run this real quick node server I'll show you our um, jade works correctly you can view source on this guy and uh see there it is um you can also if you don't like the way that looks you can go into um, if you want to see uh, stuff i believe it's uh, app dot i can never remember what that is hold on some of these things i don't remember so i, I didn't pass i googled them figured them out but um mm, i'll do it here oh, that's right this is what it is so you can go into here and you can actually close this out Yeah, and this will force uh, Express to render it in like a pretty fashion here. I'll show you. Oops, I got to That's right. Um, there, now you can like see just like you know what you're used to. Um, for production, you want to kind of maybe not do that, but it's up to you. Anyway, um, so we'll get rid of this extra stuff here. I'm trying to be quick because I know you guys are probably interested in the actual spa part, but um, you need to have some setup too. So is that we don't need director anymore. We don't need this because we have some cluster. We don't need environmental variables. Okay, so let's actually get into the meat of the system. So what I like to use is let me let me actually show you something real quick. Right before we get to it, we'll do script source. I'm gonna show you something real quick while I'm gonna do something. Uh, app.js. We'll go in here. Make a file app.js. See var a equals fives equals five okay we'll refresh this here okay we'll open up control shift i we'll open up um uh, chrome's um developer tools and for some reason um there you go okay console now use it a oh was it was it a or what was it yeah a a oops a Stop. Um, did I not? Pretty sure I did. App.js. Just refresh to make sure. I shouldn't have to do that because. Oh, it's not. Okay, hold on. There's an error somewhere. <laughs> Let's see, real quick, so source. Oh, there you go. That's why. There we go. Okay. Got confused there. Okay. So, um, oh, I don't mind. I hate that one. Does the, you'll see five, right? Now, let's grab jQuery. Okay. jQuery. We're just going to include the C again in this one. Actually, no, we don't even want. So, we'll do jQuery. Query dot min dot js. I believe it's identified already. This is that here. We'll grab jQuery like this. We'll save it. We will include it. Um, actually, yeah, that's fine. Um, j jQuery min dot js. We will wrap this in a jQuery function. This all become clear in just a minute here. What's going on here? Now, let me refresh. Say A. See, it's not there. A is not defined, but if you go into here and you console log. A. By the way, you don't need semicolons. Um, I just like using them. Uh, anyway, uh, so refresh, refresh. It console logs it. It's actually there. So, we can hide all of our JavaScript and jQuery functions, and they're not really accessible on the command line from like bad people who want to damage your website. So that's part of the part of what we're going to do with um, our spa. We're going to um, hide everything inside jQuery functions. Now the problem is, how do these jQuery functions communicate with each other?